prepare for an amazing adventure that will take you over the moat. Hello everyone, my name is Finnegan Fox. I am the palace's royal messenger. I bring a special announcement directly from the palace. You are invited to come with us to the other side of the moat. That's right, inside the castle. We're going to have all sorts of fun and learn a lot about giving praise to God, the king of all the earth. Each day, students will head off to the courtyard for a time of worship and singing. They may even get to meet Finnegan and his friends. Throughout the day, they'll explore castle life. Working at the smithy, they'll forge meaningful crafts that will remind them to praise God for years to come. They'll sharpen their skills when they head out to the field for royal competitions. And when they get hungry from all the jousting and other games, they'll return to the castle's great hall to feast on a banquet of snacks fit for a king. Well, I'd love to stick around, but I need to make more announcements. Aye, farewell for now, Finnegan. You know, the best part of each day is when we get to talk about who God is and what he has done. By looking at the life of David, David knew that God was his refuge, strength, shield and fortress. David continually sang praises to his king. Psalm 47, 6 and 7 say, Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises unto our king, sing praises. For God is the king of all the earth. On day one, students will learn to approach God with love. God chose David to be anointed by Samuel. Students will be encouraged to have a heart that is pleasing to God. But what does that mean? Well, it means to love God and want to please him in everything you think and everything you do and everything you say. On day two, students will learn to trust God for strength and courage. God empowered David to fight Goliath. Students will identify tasks that require courage and strength, things they can trust God for. On day three, students will learn to praise God because he is worthy. God protected David through Jonathan's warning. Students will discover ways to praise God, even when times are hard. On day four, students will learn to tell others about God. God crowned David King of Israel. Students will honour God by telling others about him. All you have to do is tell people about all the amazing things God has done for you. On the last day, students will learn to thank God for his faithfulness. God promised David that his son Solomon would become king and would build the temple. God always keeps his promises. We've been talking about singing praises to God. Now let's decide that we will praise God, our King, in good times and hard times. That doesn't just mean singing songs. We want to praise God with everything we do. Our lives should show how much we love him. I do hope you will join us. Ooh, I've got to go. I need to spread this message to everyone everywhere. Farewell, my friends, and I'll see you over the moat. <laughs> <laughs>